Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to explore some of the advanced options of working with a PDN server, and we're going to focus on how to define security rules for your PDN server and your users. In this case, we're going to take the example of a company that does ITAR work or government work that has to be very secure but also does general commercial work and show you a way of securing your data thanks to the integrated PDM within TopSolid. Let's begin. On the left hand side of your screen you see, well I should say on your screen, you should see three instances of TopSolid. The best way to show how PDM and securities work is to have three instances of TopSolid running on my PC so I can show you in real time how this security will affect users downstream. The left hand instance of Top Solid, you can see I'm logged on as admin. The middle instance, I'm logged on as Uncle Sam. This will represent someone who has ITAR access. And the user on the right is Bob the Builder. He's just a low level guy who is using the commercial side. And it has nothing to do with level or not, it's just this user specifically only has access to commercial work, for example. Now, here I'm going to go in the PDM server, and I'm going to go manage my users to begin with. This is just a quick reference to show you how to add a user. So for example, you can see I have Bob the Builder and I have Uncle Sam. If I was to add a user, you're adding a username. This could be, if I could spell, this could be John Little. Okay, this is enough to add a user. Of course, you would add a password here as well, so that your user had to log in with a password or you could tie your users to your Active Directory user accounts, if you wish. Now, once you've done that, as the admin, uh, admin you go to PDM, and you're going to go to uh, User Groups next. And here we're going to define a couple of user groups. So I'm going to hit Add, and I'm going to call this one ITAR. This is Government Work. And I'm going to add a user right away to this. This will be Uncle Sam. I'm going to confirm that, and I'm going to add another group, and we'll call it non ITAR commercial user. And here we're going to add Bob the Builder. Okay, add as many users as you want. Doing this as groups is the best way to work. This way, if you have employees enter and exit, you don't have to worry about setting special permissions per employee. You just add them to the appropriate group. From here, we're going to go to the, again, 7icon PDM, and now we're going to go and activate security. And here's how it works. I'm going to activate security. I'm going to hit a plus sign here. I'm going to go to my groups, and I'm going to add both ITAR and non-ITAR groups to set security rules for. And basically, here what we're doing is we're going to define global rules for each group. Okay, So an ITAR group, they cannot administer, but they can be granted access to create, modify, modify references, read, export, and so on. The non-ITAR group, the same. Okay, Now, you can even password protect who can control this to add another level of security if the admin level is not enough. Okay, let's green check. We've now defined that. Next, we're going to define at a project level who has access to what. So as an administrator, for example, I can go in here, and this is just an empty PDM right now, I'm gonna create a new template. Okay, and I'm gonna call this ITAR work. Or a new project, I should say, sorry. This project, I'm going to turn into a project template here in a minute, but we're going to open this project and I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go to security locally for this project. And now locally what I'm going to do is I'm going to deny access to this project 
for anyone that's a non-ITAR user. Okay. Now, just to show you how this works, I'm going to check this in. Okay. And now I'm going to go downstream to the PDM server, uh, pardon me, connection with Uncle Sam and with Bob the Builder to show you how it works. All right. So if I go to open, uh, we have a quick change to make, I think. Okay, so I just restarted my uh, top solid instance with Uncle Sam and Bob the Builder because when you make a security change, the users have to log out and log back in for those security changes to apply. So now from here, we're going to test the project access first. So logged on as Uncle Sam, who has ITAR access. If I go to my Projects Explorer, I can open up the project. I can do anything I want in this project. If I'm logged on as Bob the Builder, who does not have ITAR access, and I go to my Projects Explorer, if I try to open this, it says you do not have enough rights to open this project called ITAR Work. So what's interesting here now is you can have two user groups that have access or not to specific projects. Now, I made this at the project level it could also be applied at a folder level. So I could go to a folder and I could go and activate security on this folder. Sorry, it's got to be saved. Probably checked in first. There we go. And here I could modify the security for this folder. Maybe there's some aspect of the folder that doesn't require ITAR level stuff. Okay, so you can be creative with what you do, but typically ITAR stuff is not part of commercial work. So it's better to do it at the project level. Now, that said, once you have established that this is how you want this to be, I can now set this as a project template. Okay, so I'm going to add to templates. We'll call it, put it under company templates here. Okay, and then I'm going to go make another project really quick. So again, new project. I'm going to call this commercial work. Again, we'll open it, go set the security on it, okay? In this case, everything stays granted, even ITAR people, because ITAR people can access this. We're gonna check this in. Okay, so checking it in now. Again, we can go here to check to see if it's available. Uh, we probably need to do a refresh Let's see if we can do that here. Get latest revision, that just adds the folder, but I wonder if that adds this too. Yep, perfect. So I can add my commercial work. I have access here. If I go here, commercial work, Bob the Builder has access here, okay? And again, like I did before, I can then go set this now that I've tested it to be a project template under company templates. And now moving forward, we'll go ahead and close this one and this one if either of these users go to make something. So for example, I'm gonna go into my Projects Explorer here and I wanna say I wanna make a new project. I can go to my company templates. Here I'm gonna choose commercial work, new job, perfect. As this user has access to all of that, okay? If I go into here to Uncle Sam and we create a new project, again for my company templates, ITAR work, new job ITAR, I have access to that, okay? Now, I think, yeah, and then from there you can check your work in because you have access to the right projects. Just really quickly to point out if I'm logged on as Bob the Builder, again the commercial side user, if I go to create a new project and I try to use the ITAR work project template, right? It's going to say I don't have the rights. So you can fully protect your data via different user groups by using security level attributes as well as user groups thanks to that integrated PDM inside of Top Solid 7.